You can make these ornaments for your own Christmas tree or to give to friends and family. They can be in one yarn or you can use metallic yarn to bring some shine to them. You can use any type of yarn. With these here I first have wool and then I was using glitter yarn at the same time with the wool. And here's a plain green one. So let's make one. I have lots of Christmas tutorials on my channel, so subscribe so you don't miss any of them. We start here and work towards the top and then add this later. I have a slip knot here and then I'm going to make 14 foundation single crochet stitches. And I'm using American crochet terms. If you prefer not to use foundation stitches that I'm going to show now, you can chain 15 and make one single crochet into each. But I'm only showing the foundation stitches. Chain two and a stitch into the first of these and pull through and then take your yarn again and pull through just one and yarn through both. So that's the first one. The foundation stitch makes the chain and the first row at the same time. Then take these two loops we just made and pull yarn through them. Yarn over and through one of them and through both. So now we have two foundation stitches. I'll do one more through here. like this and continue until you have 14. I now have three. One, two, three. Here's 14 foundation stitches and then we start the first row of bobble stitches. Turn round and make a slip stitch into not the very first one but the next stitch. Just so we start here. And then chain three. And now we are making four double crochets into this here same stitch. Four double crochets. Two. Three. And four. And then we join them at the top. You may want to pull the stitch a bit longer and then take your hook off it and put it to the top of our three chains at the beginning through there and then through that stitch and take a yarn and pull through. So that created this sort of a bubble. Then chain two. And then we make the next bubble so uh, double crochet into the third stitch, one, two, third. And we will make five double crochets here into the same stitch. You would often see bobble stitches made with four double crochets, but um, I tried that and I thought that for the tree they are not high enough. So I am having five each time. There's five and then you hook through the first one and through that stitch and take a yarn and pull through. So now we have two of those and we'll have five of these on the first row. So continue like this, chain two and then skip two and make a bubble into the third stitch, three more like that. And now I have five and the last one is at the end of that row. And then we need one row of single crochets. First chain one and turn and make two single crochets into the space between the bubble stitches. So just the hook into that there space and a single crochet. 
and then straight to the next one so no chain stitches in between two into each of these four spaces and there uh, by the way if you haven't crocheted a lot and if it feels like I'm crocheting too fast, remember that you can always slow down all, vid all videos. And then chain three and turn. And we continue this here same way, making these bubble stitches, but on this row we'll just have four. So um, I'll first have four in this here first stitch. One, two, three, no, three and four. And just again the same, you join the top of these double crochets. And then chain two. And then we'll make the next bobble in one of the stitches in between there. I'm going into this here and just the same so you make five and you make a bubble and then the same here and at the end of the row here we are by the way if you prefer to crochet from a chart there's a link to my blog in the video description and you can see the chart there so now we have two of these and then just the same again, chain one, turn and uh, two single crochets into these spaces. There and chain three, turn and now we'll do the same just that we only have three because we put them in between these bubbles from the previous row so you'll have one right at the start like before so you'll make five and then in this gap and at the end of the row so here's three rows now and then we continue the same chain one and turn and two single crochets into the gaps and then the next row you'll do make two one three chains and turn so now you'll make two bubbles and then turn one more time and make just one bubble so it will look like this here five four three two and one bubble here and then we need this here chains that go around it chain three one two three and then we go to the bubble the row below and uh, insert the hook through the side of it and make a slip stitch and we do that on each of these chain three and attach it there all of these splitting my yarn and then three again and now go to the corner where we start it and from here now we are making single crochets one and make three into the corner three single crochets and then a single crochet into each of these stitches here just through this here a single crochet until there now i have single crochets here and 
again to have three in the corner so I already have one there and I'll make two more so it sort of goes around the corner and then we do the chain threes back just like on the other side so chain three and attach to the side of each of these chain three and attach into each of these so here we are and now you can finish off this here yarn and then still this here bit I'm taking grey yarn for that I have my other yarn here and double it uh, by about half a meter, half a yard and um, then we take the wrong side of this here tree and uh, find a stitch a bit right to the right from the middle this here one, I see how many that is from the corner one, two, three, four, five, sixth and insert the hook and uh, I'm taking the loop that comes from doubling my yarn and make a stitch then chain one using both strands and uh, a single crochet into that same stitch and then three more chain stitches one two three chain one and turn and a single crochet into each of these four stitches to finish this off here we are and then one more stitch and then cut it and pull through here's this one and then you can use any kind of embellishments on any of them like adding beads or whatever and then you can add a loop to hang it on your tree but that's it for today. I trust you'll enjoy making many of these here Christmas trees.